Feed Nova Scotia is entering its busiest season, sending supplies from its warehouse in Dartmouth to food banks across the province. And this year is busier than most. Food bank usage is up nearly 30% over last year, and the nonprofit is spending twice as much money to keep pace. It's a perfect storm between the rising cost of living, unaffordable housing, and inadequate income. You know, this has been a crisis for the past few months, but for the past few years. This is not news, it's just getting worse and worse, and that pressure is, is just continuing to increase for folks. That pressure also seems to be affecting donations. The Knights of Columbus in Sackville were recently disappointed with the results of their annual food drive. It brought in less than 500 kilograms. Some other years, they've collected more than 2,000 kilograms. Uh, I can really feel for anybody Young families, three, four children, uh, man, you got to take a bank loan to go to a grocery store. The problem is easy enough to understand. People are simply not making enough money relative to the cost of living. Experts are collecting data that backs that up. You know, 60% of food insecure households in Canada are, are working. So that speaks more to, to wages and wages needing to be livable wages to cover the costs of food and, and other basic needs. The minimum wage in Nova Scotia is at least $7 below the estimated living wage. The difference is even bigger if you live in Halifax. A food bank is never going to plug that gap. It's needed right now because it's the only system we have in place, but that system is not sustainable. We need policy-based intervention from government, and they need to show up with some leadership on this issue. Nova Scotia's Minister of Community Services told reporters this week he knows food banks are stretched, and his department is looking at options to help. Taryn Grant, CBC News, Halifax.